What's up guys, Blu-ray Billy here, back for another video, and it's that time of year again, my top 10 movies of 2014. Now a few announcements before I start um, this video, um, on Letterboxd, on Letterboxd, for the people who have me on YouTube on there, um, I... I wrote my reviews for um, my second favourite film and my first favourite film on there. And I said if they were my first favourite film and if they were my second favourite film of the year. And um, But I quickly swapped them around yesterday. So number one is number two and number two is number one. So, um, so um, and I wrote my reviews um, before I did that. So sorry for the... Um, so basically... It, I, I didn't lie to you, I just um, thought one film was better than the other, I changed my mind about it. But, um, and yeah, so I'm, I've got three more subscribers to go, three more till I'm at that big 200, and if my face looks mucky, it's not, I've just got, I just, that like round here, I've just got sore lips, but um, anyways, let's get started. So, uh, number 10 is, um... And number 10 is um, a great animation movie. I love this movie. I saw it in the cinema. I've got the Blu-ray. Um, I've got the 3D version, actually. And number 10 is the Lego movie. I love this film so much. It's so amazing, literally. Um, it's um, got great animation. It It's heartwarming. It's funny and amazing voice cast overall the lego movie is one of my favorite films of the year and that's why it's on this list so uh, number nine is a fantastic biography film and um, biopic and it is mandela long walk to freedom the first film i saw this year and it's on my list of my favorite films of the year i love this movie it it t tells the story perfectly of Mandela's life and if you haven't seen it definitely check it out and it goes for the same with the Lego movie as well and at number eight is a hilarious comedy and number eight is 22 Jump Street I love this movie it's not my favorite comedy of the year I've got some other comedies on this list but 22 Jump Street definitely has to be on here it's a fantastic movie. I really enjoyed it, and that's why it is number eight. At number seven is a great comedy. Um, well, it's an animation as well, but um, it's comedy as well. And it's from, from DreamWorks, and it is Mr. Peabody and Sherman. I love this movie. It's funny it it teaches kids great things about history so definitely i'd say check out mr peabody and sherman it's a great movie number six is another comedy and um it's not an animation by the way um and this film it has really bad reviews but i can't understand why because i really enjoyed this movie and it is a million ways to die in the west um this movie is hilarious. Family Guy, I absolutely love. Ted, I absolutely love. And this movie is no different. It's one of my favourite films of the year. And definitely check it out. So at number six, is A Million Ways to Die in the West. At number five, um, you'd be surprised it's um, not at, like number two or not at number one. Um, number five is Boyhood. Um... I really love this movie. It is amazing. Filmed over 12 years. And Richard Linklater is one of my favourite directors of all time. Now, this is one of my favourite movies of all time. Um, Boyhood is such a great movie. El Ella Coltrane, Patricia Arquette, um, Ethan Hawke, um, Lorelei Linklater. Everyone's great in the movie. So, if you haven't seen Boyhood... Definitely, definitely check it out. At number four is a fantastic book adaptation movie. Um, and that is The Maze Runner. Adapted from De James Dashner's um, novels. 
The Maze Runner is a fantastic movie. Intense and just such an amazing movie. If you haven't seen The Maze Runner, I, if I were you, I'd go out to see it. It's a great movie. Definitely check it out. Um, if it's, if it's um, gone in your cinema, then definitely pick it up on Blu-ray or DVD. So, at number three. This movie is my favourite superhero film. Is it ever? Yeah. Let me think. Ever. Probably ever. Guardians of the Galaxy. I love this film. I've got all the Guardians. Of, well, I've I've got Star Lord, Gamora, Drax, Rocket, and Group Disney Infinity Marvel superheroes 2.0 figures. I've got Marvel in. Marvel Disney Infinity for Christmas and I've got those as well, those figures. Guardians of the Galaxy is hilarious, it's sad in places. And if you haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy, please check it out at my record then re blah, 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 re I can't pronounce it, um but I recommend it. Yeah, recommendation. Check it out at my recommendation. Um if I were you, I'd go see it. So, uh, number three is Guardians of the Galaxy. Number two is a hilarious movie. Um, CGI and live action mixed together. It is. It, it hasn't been released in the United States yet, but it is Paddington. I love this movie. It's great. I love it. It's hilarious. It, it's heartwarming. And story's great. Just check out Paddington, please. Um, just such an amazing movie. And we've made it to the film this year that I just thought was fantastic. It's the best film I've ever seen. Um, this film is such a sad film, but it's um, so realistic. And number one is... Drum roll. The Fault in Our Stars. This movie is amazing. I need to faint again. Sorry, guys. This movie is amazing. Everyone in the movie is great. It's about cancer. It's so realistic. Really sad. But I love this movie so much. If you haven't seen... The Fault in Our Stars. Please, 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 please go and see it. Just check out The Fault in Our Stars. It's too good to be true, this movie. So there we have it, guys. My top ten movies of 2014. Um, I would have done it on New Year's Eve, but I'm busy tomorrow and I'm busy New Year's Eve, so I did it today. Um, and I'm not going to the cinema any time this year, so... um. I'm going to London tomorrow to see Wicked. Um, I'm looking forward to that. But, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. What are your top ten movies of the year? Um, so, yeah. Blue Ray Billy, logging off.